Hello guys, uh, let's continue with what we're doing. We've created for countries and failed jobs. Let's do invitations and jobs. So invitations. Up arrow. Invitations. Invitations. Then we do invitation. Okay. Invitation. Hit enter. And uh, once that is done, we do for jobs, and uh, we will not do this. Okay, so nobody's doing this. So we're just gonna do jobs and organizations. So I hope you notice that all the all the um, table names here are in plural. That's how Laravel ex ex expects you to build table names. So uh, at this level, um, I'm just gonna create two two command prompts so I can do the same thing in two places jobs and um, job job okay I'm going to do the same thing in two places so control C here okay good paste so we have jobs we have organizations and organization user okay Organizations, organization user. Up arrow. Organizations. Organization user. Okay, organization. So in this other one, I'm going to do organization user. Organization user. Organization. organization user okay so here is gonna be organization it's supposed to be singular so this is the only table that is supposed to be singular because it's um, a joint table between organizations table and users table okay so it's not a real table per se it's just a, a middle table between two tables okay um, that's a, a many to many relationship third normal form in database design okay uh, so I'm gonna leave it in singular hit enter and uh, we're gonna leave password resets I don't think we need password resets per se but we need um, roles so we're gonna create roles. Same thing up arrow roles and then all the way here roll. Okay, good. Now we have this we do skills and users, okay? Those are the finals. Up arrow, delete, 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 delete. Skills. And um, here will be skill, skill, enter, and then in the other screen we'll do users, up arrow, all small letter users, and then finally here we'll do user, hit enter. So this has created all the HTML files we need. Let's go look at the files that we have created. So we come here, and then uh, we close the migrations table in case you're wondering what um, seeds are see, like I said before seeds will help you generate dummy data let's say you are building an application where you need a lot of dummy data to test with let's say sample dummy users let's say you want 100 users on your app um, you can generate them using seeds okay just go to Laravel and read it up or, or from if UM can help you generate seeds Okay, seed data, but we don't need that now. Now let's go to um, resources and see folders that were created. Uh, in the past, we saw how uh, inside the resources folder, views folder, we have all the um, folders that reflect the names of the uh, fields in our database. For instance, we have accounts, we have countries, we have uh, failed jobs, we have invitations, and uh, and so on. You see. 
So in each of these, for instance, if I open skills, you will see that it has how many files? Seven files. This files have this file is the, the the file that contains code for create for the creation of a skill that has a form. Look at it's referencing a form. And look at that form here, fields. If you look at the form, the form has a uh, you see text has a number okay so this is the html form initially remember i told you this is not normal html as you can see normal html here but there is a code here that is called a uh, blade templating engine which is what laravel uses that's why it is dot blade.com it doesn't mean that if you write normal html here it will not work normal html works perfectly here all right so this contains all the codes that contain HTML. Let's look at another set of codes that were generated. It's in app. If we click, go to app folder, and we first of all start with HTML, HTTP folder. You see inside controllers, you see that a whole lot of files were generated too. For instance, account controller was generated, and all these codes were written for us. If we were writing it manually, it would have taken forever to write, but now, we're not writing manually, uh, it's being written for us, you see? Code for creating, uh, code for saving, code for displaying a single account, and so on. These are just basic code that will save us 50 to 80% of our time. And now we're looking at something else that we can, uh, that was created. Let's take a look. Now something else that was created is uh, in models. As you can see all of them were created so this is accounts.php for instance in model this basically tells this file that look you are you are relating to a table in the database that is called accounts so if the table is named something else then we're going to name it something else here and then that, that table has two fields two important fields the created that and the updated that so dates deleted that you see fillable so it does all the basic stuff for us and then we can look at even form rules required required so going forward we can then um, add more code here to make it work exactly like we want that is model okay so model table uh, kind of gives you the specifies the relationship that needs to be there uh, to, uh, in the database okay so we also have repositories Repositories were created for us, repository files, we almost never need to touch this, ever. So we're good. Uh, so far you would have observed that two user .php files were specified. This is the original one that came with um, this installation. When we installed it, a user.php file, in fact, Laravel always creates that by default. So it is showed here. Okay. Don't touch it, even though another one was created inside models. Look at model, another one was created, you see? The same thing. But this time around, this one is more is smarter because it lists all the fields in a database. But don't touch the other one. Okay, so just leave the other one the way it is. So now we understand how this whole folder is structured. I'm going to stop here. We'll see you in the next video, all right?